Good morning guys, welcome to an amazing day. Today, I'm pranking the girls big time. So basically, something big is happening today and I kept it a secret from the girls. The girls have no idea, you guys. They have no idea and it's huge. I'm gonna surprise them with something that they've been missing and wanting for four months. For four long months, our hearts have been empty and missing something, something huge, something a huge part of us. Something, something that a lot of you new viewers won't even know about. It's been so long since I've done grain, I don't remember who gets what. I don't remember this bucket ever being used. I think Willow gets green. You know what, they're the exact same. So what difference does it make? Hey Willow. <laughs> Gracie and Penny Pickle. But basically, you guys know, a lot of you guys know, our old trainer, Fiona, she is a, such a big part of our life. I'm gonna try and be brief, but essentially, uh-oh, my thing is that squirting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so essentially, we had this trainer, Fiona. She, when we got our first horses, we boarded them at her barn. She took care of them. It was like this carefree, loving, amazing, <laughs> experienced owning our first horse then her barn closed down and then we were kind of more responsible for our own horses and it was a really hard struggle but we got there and she supported us and she still helped us she was still our trainer she recently took four months off uh, to pursue some endeavors of her own so we have been missing her for four months Fiona's the kind of trainer that really I'm just feeding my horse here <laughs> Fiona's the kind of trainer that really instills confidence in your heart and it's addicting. Addicting just like Penny's medicine. <laughs> and so not having her has been a massive struggle for us. And things that I don't show you guys is Sophia every day she says to me, send that video, take a video and send it to Fiona and show her what I'm doing. Fiona is more than a coach. She is a friend. She is a confidant. She is... Someone that feels amazing to have on your side. We've been missing Fiona for four months, you guys. It has not felt the same. What the heck is that? That is the fur off of something. What the heck? Anyways, today, you guys, today Fiona's coming back and my girls don't know. So today, Fiona is coming back, you guys, I believe that if Gabby wasn't so proud, she would cry. I believe that Sophie's gonna be so excited that she might cry. I believe that I might cry. Our beloved Fiona is coming back and we're having a lesson with her today and my kids don't know. They just think we're going to the barn and we're riding. They know that lessons have started back up. They know we're having a lesson this week with Brandon, our regular Brandon lesson and they don't know about Fiona. You guys, they have been missing her as I think some of you guys have been missing her too. She's like, she brings with her a light that makes everything feel okay. She, she has such a positive way about her that it makes you always feel better and feel like you're okay. And COVID's been really hard, but it's been really hard without Fiona. And today she's coming back. And today she's giving my girl a lesson and they don't even know. So hold on to your hats, you guys, while I pull off. The biggest prank of life. I don't know if so much if it's a prank or if it's a surprise, but I think it's a prank because I've been lying to them. Isn't a prank a bunch of lies? <laughs> I've been lying to them and letting them know that we don't know when Fiona's coming back yet and we're just gonna keep on going, but she's coming back today. I think they're gonna lose their mind. I think they're gonna lose their mind. Comment below if you're excited for a Fiona lesson. I have crazy news. What? Look at something's dead. Is it my cat? No. It looks like my cat's hair. Oh! <gasps> She's getting spayed next week. Oh, did you already right, pay? Hey? No. <laughs> it does look like soft, clean fur. <gasps> this can't be good, you guys. Now we're on a mystery. There is a mystery. Send Ru Ruby on the trail. Ruby thinks okay. they're upstairs. Ruby yeah, thinks she won't go up there. You should go up there and see.
You see nothing? Sophie, there's been an attack in the day by day farm. There's been an attack on the day by day farm. Did you have to cut out the forelock? No, that's not a forelock. Whose hair is that? Doesn't that look like Lexi's? Yeah. It's all fresh and clean. Um, okay. I don't know, but if I was an injured cat, I would be hiding. Well, that, my friends, is scary. How many of you guys thought I was gonna, gonna spill the beans? I'm very good at mysteries, you guys, at surprises, at pranks. Anyway, welcome to today. Today we have something really exciting and really fun to do. Something that Gabby's been wanting to do for a long time and we're gonna share it with you guys. Something you might wanna do. All right, Gabby's doing hay. And then we are we're letting these babies out. We got a busy, busy day today. Your pony hates you? Because of the cheek cold. Because of the cheek cold? My pony hated me because of the cheek cold. Is that why you were chasing no, after her? No, she won't let me catch her anymore. Yeah, that happened to me too, but I mastered it. You just gotta keep well, trying it. Do it. Like, okay, so I'm holding her cheek, and if she doesn't walk, I pinch it. Well, that is why she doesn't like, like it. Breaker. That is why she doesn't like that's it. That's how we nailed it. But that's why she's scared of you now. The whole idea of this is for her not to be scared. Right, Gracie goes out first. Why does Gracie go out first? Because she's not scared. Because she's the beloved pony Gabby. of Gabby. All right. I used to feel like, oh goodness gracious, that was a bit aggressive, Penny. Uh, you guys should know that Penny and I are working on the cheek hold and we are nailing it now. All I have to. Fresh except for Willow, she just wants to eat. Yeah, Penny's fresh. Penny is fresh. Let's go see. She's not fresh now. Imagine this though. Imagine walking on glass. I'm, I thought it was. That's what it sounds like. Listen. This is what our horses have to walk on. Glass. Hi, Grace. I still can't believe somebody sent us this beautiful blanket. Like, how kind is that? How kind is that? Somebody did, oh, you rolled. Somebody sent us a gorgeous, beautiful pink blanket. Like, that is the kindest thing. Don't lick my gloves, they have stuff on them. Okay, so I have a funny, so I have an interesting story. I have to share this with you right now before we go up to the house. My interesting, my interesting story is about my saddle. So for any of you guys who don't know, this is my saddle. I bought it from my trainer. It's a WinTech. A WinTech is synthetic. It is very lightweight. It's a 17 inch or 16 inch. It's cute, it's small. Yeah, that's Gracie's girth. It's cute. It's small, Gabby says. Okay, so back to my saddle. So it's brown, and it is in fantastic shape. And I love this saddle. So when I got Penny, everybody was like, oh, you need to get a new saddle. That saddle's not going to be good for her. But I looked it up, and that saddle is actually in the top 10 saddles for gated horses as a good fit. Is it in so the then. No, it's like four. So then four I have my. With what number better? 10 or one? One. So then I had my trainer come and make sure it fit her, and he said that it did. And then I had our chiropractor here a couple of times, and she said, well, Penny's back is fabulous. It's great, even though I've been riding her in this saddle. And so in my heart, I still feel like I need a new saddle because synthetic is crappy, leather is good. I want a nice saddle. I want a prestigious okay, saddle. But the truth is, I only want that because I've been led to believe that that's what I need. But in reality, I love my saddle. I was thinking about it last night. I was thinking about it last night when I saddled Penny up. I could just whip this saddle up on top of her, and I believe that Penny likes it because it's so lightweight. I can manage this saddle. Some people say that it's too small for me. It feels amazing. It feels like it fits like a glove. It feels. It's light enough that even Sophie can carry it. And then, so yeah, then I started thinking like, why am I getting another saddle? I'm, I want another saddle. I want a nice comfy leather saddle, beautiful saddle. But I love my saddle, you guys. Like I love it. It has been the best saddle. So yeah, it might not be leather. It might not be 
prestigious, but it works for me and it works for Penny. And so if another saddle comes into my heart, then I'm gonna just let it. But I really love that saddle. So there, I said it. I love my Wintech saddle. I love it. Like, I can't even believe it. It just occurred to me last night how much I actually love that saddle and how sad I would be to see it go. So whether or not it's prestigious enough or amazing enough, I'm gonna ride in it. But this is the only thing that I need to do. The only problem with this saddle is that because she's got such an A-shaped body, like very narrow at the shoulders and then wider in the back, I need to get a back rigging kit. Something that I can hook up the back to. So I need to get Fiona when she comes back to help me figure that out because that's what I need. That's the only thing that I need to make this saddle work perfectly for us. But yeah, I love my saddle. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding Whenever there is something that I want so badly, I will work for it. Bye, Pen. Love you. I thought of a way to explain Fiona to you. I don't want to be insensitive to anybody. So please, if you're offended, that was not my intention. Imagine you, imagine you're sick. Imagine your child is sick and so you take them to the doctor and your doctor is amazing and fabulous and wonderful and your doctor manages your child's illness. Your doctor tells you everything to do. Laura, give them this medicine at this time. If this happens, bring them back. If this happens, it's okay. If this happens, take them straight to the hospital. Imagine that your child is sick and your doctor handles it and helps you and guides you and together you're able to take care of this incredible responsibility that is your daughter's health. So then, imagine that your doctor leaves and suddenly you're faced with the responsibility of keeping your daughter healthy and you don't have the skills and you don't have the knowledge but you've been learning and you are learning but imagine how difficult it could be to be without your doctor. And that is very similar. That's the closest analogy I can come up with about missing Fiona. So today, we're getting our doctor back, we're getting our health back, we're getting so much back, you guys. Okay, so in school today, we're doing some, something super fun. One of my children wanted to do it, and one of my children are horrified about doing it, but today we are doing it. I ordered this on Amazon. It is a Know Your Blood Type kit. So I got two of them, and today we're gonna find out what the girls' blood types are. So essentially, when I had my boys, their dad was O positive blood, and I am O positive blood, and so I assume all my children are probably O positive, all my boys. Sam, he has a different blood type, and he is A negative. So the importance here, the emphasis here, is that if a girl is born with an RH negative factor, so if either of my girls get our RH negative like him, then it has a few ramifications when you have babies. I have a couple of, I have a sister and a niece oh, that are, I, I have a sister and a niece that are RH negative and when they're halfway through their pregnancy, they have to get a shot in the butt. <laughs> 
So, anyways, we want to know. Gabby has been saying to me, I want to know my blood type, and we don't know their blood type. I don't want to know my blood type, so only Gabby's doing this, and you. So, Gabby doesn't want, Sophie doesn't want to do it. Why don't you want to do it, Sophie? Because it poke you. You have to get blood from your finger to be able to tell your blood type. Okay. I also want to do that trend where you get a little tiny, like, mason jar thing, and then, like, that you wear around your neck, and then, like, you can attach it to a necklace and then give your friend a vial and like your blood. Yeah, I saved it. <laughs> Put blood in a little jar. Seal it shut. If you think I'm speechless right now, then I might be speechless. Gabby, you may have made me speechless. Can All right, let's hypo Okay, let's hypothesize here for a second. Ooh! Sophie, what blood type do you think you are? I hope Probably I'm the negative. one that what negative? A me. negative, O negative. Whatever dad is, because I'm fat, just like him. So you think you're O negative because you carry some of your dad's genes, yeah. and I you look more like your dad's jeans. jeans. I, I carry more of dad's jeans. Just look at my finger. Okay, so what? What's your hypothesis? What blood type do you think you are? I hope I'm the one that kills the child. <laughs> so something with a negative. <laughs> Something negative? No, I'm showing you, not the vlog. Oh, Don't interesting. Touch my hand. Interesting. And then let's devile your yeah. own blood and then you mm. give it to your bestie. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I don't want that. I can't even I want want to do that. I can't even watch it. Yeah. I can't even watch it. for me. Not even for Kaylee. I just don't want one for me. All right. Interesting. Okay. So you think okay. you're negative and you want to be negative. All yeah. right. But what blood type? O or A? What's better? O is the most common, so if you ever got a car crash or something happened to you and you needed to get blood, then O would be, it's universal, anybody can get O. Is A legendary? A is kind of legendary. Okay, I'll take A. I'm the one that kills. <laughs> kills a baby, oh my gosh. Gabby does not like babies, Gabby does not want a baby, so Gabby wants the blood type that will mean she has to get a shot. So that it will discourage you from ever having a baby. Okay, so we're getting all set up here. Gabby's got her card. You have to write your information on your card. What do I write? Answer the questions. Name. Sophie's getting her do card. Do I have to write ready. my first, middle, and last name? No, just your first name is fine. Clean your, Clean finger. your finger with a sterile swab. Swing your arm to increase the blood flow to your fingers. Stretch and puncture the soft skin at the side of your fingertip. So typically the nurse does this for you. Like it'll be, imagine all the people. Okay, so stretch it, stretch it. Oh, stretch. No, okay. I am stretching. Okay. Oh, Molly's like, I'll be here for you, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> that actually hurts. <laughs> Massage. You swing your arm or your sister. Yes. Oh, we forgot to <laughs> down. Massage. Massage. <laughs> Get all the blood. I'm not doing that. I loved her. I loved her expression. Her, her eyes got big. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, that wasn't enough. Massaging. Here, you want me to do it? Um, no, I'm good. Angle it. I think I know why it comes with two. In okay, case you make a mistake the first time. So that she can get more blood. Okay, so she's got them all there. Now she just has to stir them up. You gotta stir them. No, Go. we have to. You have to stir it quick. Oh. Stir it all with the water, all over the whole card. Uh-oh. I think Gabby's the one. I think she's gonna have her dad's blood type. I think it already. All right, so- Now you have to tilt. Oh, yeah, so now she's gonna tilt this card and let seconds. the- seconds. One, two. Read your results, sister. What do you think you are? You're I either A, O, A positive, a negative, O positive, or O negative. You're either- I want to be the baby killer one. So you want to be- I know I'm not it, but I want to be You it. want to be A negative like your dad. Okay, so what's A negative? A <laughs> negative. Ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. I don't know. How do I tell? So you're looking for the one that shows your thing. So all of these are just plain. All three are plain except for this first one is spotted. Oh, so I'm, on, I'm A negative? Is that what it says? I don't know. A negative's that one. That one's just spotted in the first Okay, one. so let's see. I think she's A negative. Is that the killer one? Yeah. That, yes. I think you got your dad's blood type. I think you're A negative. You're gonna regret that one day. Yeah. 
You, you got your dad's blood type? You were right. Yeah. Wow, that's shocking. I've never. I'm more like my dad. Genetically, I'm more like my dad. In a lot of ways, yeah. I, I kind of look oh. like you, but that's oh. all. Yeah, you don't have my I body. I'm more like dad. Yeah. All right, so we didn't have as much blood because Sophie is not a giver of blood. I probably did the prick not bad, not well because I had to do it fast under pressure. <laughs> Sophie was not, oh, get away. Sophie was not happy. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked at my girl's blood type. I'm shocked that Gabby is A negative and I think Sophie is o A positive. But positive, I can still have babies without having. Uh, and the needle, yeah. The needle. Yeah. So it's fine. You're fine. That's, those chunks there are just dried blood because it was drying on the stick. And I got it off because the other blood came out. Okay, so, so Sophie? Yeah. You are A positive, sister. Positive, you both got negative. dad's blood type and you got my RH factor. Did you poke me underneath the nail? No. No, no, no that's just where the blood rushed because she was holding it like that. They're all napping and Chino's laying down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I see him. He's getting up. Oh, that was beautiful. She's calling him. Aw. Oakley and Tex and Chino all laying down together. Tex, that's Quincy. Tex is over there. Oh. Oakley and some other horse and Chino. Finn's is deciding. Here's the thing about Finn that you guys might not know. If Finn had a partner in crime, if he's pooping, he's like, ah. Should I run or should I stay? He actually really does love her. Aww. You guys, you have treats? I got some. How beautiful though to like see your horse napping. Oh, nice blanket there, Chino. Covered in pee. How beautiful for your horse to be napping in a pile of pee and poo. Hi, Oakley. There's a tree branch thing over here somewhere. You're super cute. Can I give you a pet? Oh. I've never actually got this close to a sleeping horse. Like, I have with Storm before, but. Wow. Look at his legs. Hi, Hi Oak. Oaks. Oakley. You're such a pretty boy. He's like, go away and let me sleep now. Oh, he's moaning. Oh, he's so tired. All right, you have a nap. Let, let the shenanigans begin. I don't know exactly what time she's gonna show up. We gave ourselves lots of time so that they're gonna have time to tack up and get in the arena and get everything set up that they wanna do and then she's gonna surprise them. Yeah, it's happening like I even have goosebumps. How high is that? Can you set up the thing, the black thing, like you did yesterday, just there? Just the black thing there? Uh, put the blocks beside him, put a pole, because we're going to see how he does first. So the two-footer. Oh, uh, but you know what not refuse. He can still refuse, he just can't. Just dodge out. Oh, no, not ready to go. What? Oh, she's here. <laughs> No. <laughs> Are you afraid? And Fiona's back. Did it? Did it evoke fear? Did it evoke? <laughs> so did Gabby get Faye scared? <laughs> what? What? Girls are like supposed to be cooling out, but they're like standing over here with Fiona. They're waiting for eggs. We brought eggs. Chino's like, give me some eggs. Not for you. Chino wants them too. I know. All right, so Gabby, how does it feel having Fiona back? Good. Good. Sophie, how did it feel having Fiona back? Tired, exhausting. <laughs> Fiona is exhausting. But are you happy? Finn is so Are you happy? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, what a difference, man. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so so how did you feel? How did you feel about the surprise? Uh, she hates bad because I hate surprises. Yeah, she hates surprises. Why did you say that you needed your spurs? Because he is lazy, and he was still lazy when we were going to the jump. He was dead because he felt that sit. So he was already dying when we were going to the barrels. So Gabby, so when I saw, when Gabby, so basically when Gabby figured out it was Fiona, she's like, I hate surprises. No. And then she said, hold them, I, I gotta get my spurs. Yell. She thought somebody was coming to yell at us. I was getting ready to fight back. So yes, she, the girl thought somebody was coming to get mad at us because Fiona came with like a mad tone, like you guys better be ready to go. I was scared for my life. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. It was scary. Were you surprised? Yes. You made yourself look like the victim. Fiona has a very commanding tone to her voice, which is a good trait to have in a riding instructor, and it was amazing. So I pranked you guys. I pulled one over on you that guys. That was not a prank. What was it? That was not a prank. What was it? A uh, surprise. Okay. Which I hate them though. When Fiona walked in and I was videoing Gabby and I don't know how much I caught on camera. I was afraid what she was going to say so I turned off the camera. But she said, she was mouthing something to me and I was like, what the heck is she saying? <laughs> so did Gabby get face scared? <laughs> what? What? And she was saying, I... I hate surprises. And I was laughing so hard because <laughs> they were so shocked. They're excited. It, it might be hard to tell. They need time to warm up to things. It might be hard to tell, but they were really excited to have her back. They hardly left her side. Every time they were supposed to be warming, every time they were supposed to be cooling their horses out or walking, the girls were coming right over and standing with me and Fiona. Like they couldn't wait to talk to her. Exciting. That is it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I pulled one over on my kids and you guys know as parents that it's always important to always be one step ahead and pull things over on your kids to keep life interesting and to keep life happy and so that they can ro learn to roll with the punches. So I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm so hungry. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the